For sulfurous acid, same thing. You are using a simple concept of M1V1 equals M2V2. I just want to make sure you understand that this 100 is the total volume that you are using. And 0 0.04 is the initial concentration that we have in the burette as you are adding. And uh, the milliliter of sulfurous acids or milliliter of the potassium iodate, that is given in the table. So when you do the procedure, when you follow the procedure here, let me go back to the table for you. In this table, okay, in this table, it tells you what you're, you're adding. When you mix the two together, so let me add all these numbers together. They could see where the 100 is coming. We have 75 water, five milliliter of starch, that gives you 80 milliliter. 80 milliliter plus eight is 88. 88 plus 12, that adds up to 100. So basically it's eight plus uh, 12 plus 75 plus five equals two. 100 milliliter. So when you are adding A, A, so when you say A, A, that means you are mixing this beaker with the beaker two. You are mixing the 12 milliliter with the 88 milliliter, that adds up to 100 milliliter, which is the final volume. Concentration for these are given and is 0 0.04 for each one of them. So you find the value for X, you find the value for Y using the calculation, you find the concentration for this iodate and you find concentration for sulfurous acid, you find the rate. I hope you remember how. Rate is one divided by time for that trial. This concentration you are using M1, V1 equals M2, V2, okay? And the numbers, V2 is 100, M1 is 0 0.04, and V2 comes from table, V1 comes from table, okay? You have three, you find the last one. Same thing for this, M1, V1 equals M2, V2. V2 is 100, M2 is your unknown. V1, you get it from the table. And M1, you get it from, it's given, it's 0 0.04 okay. mole per liter. So you find the concentration, X and Y value, remember the rate A divided by rate um, D, and then you find, the, you cancel the concentration of the sulfurous acid and you get the value, you cancel K and you do the log and you find the, the value for x. You find the value for y. Similarly, using two separate trials where you keep the iodate constant and you, you are going to, um, you are going to um, divide the concentration of, of the sulfurous acid and you find the value for y. If you have y, you have concentration, you have X, you have concentration of iodate, you have the rate, you can also calculate the value for K because everything else is known. You can take any trial of the experiment, as long as you have everything else, you can calculate the K. Another aspect for this experiment or the purpose for this experiment is to use and construct calibration curve. So for five trial, the first five trial, you are going to calculate concentration of iodate solution for trial one to five, and also calculate the rate for the five trial. Then you plot a graph, and your graph is going to be, find the best fitted line. When you find the best fitted line, now you have a calibration curve. Then you get your unknown sample. And your unknown sample, what is unknown? 
We know that is I is eight, but we don't know the concentration. What is the concentration? We can treat your unknown sample as one of the I is eight solutions. And with the unknown sample, find out what is the rate. If you find the rate right here, you draw a perpendicular line to cross that calibration curve, and then draw a perpendicular line to cross the iodate. There you find the concentration for iodate. That's how you use calibration curve. First of all, you have to have four or five trials in order to construct the calibration curve, and then use your unknown your unknown sample, you can find the rate, just like finding rate for any other sample of the iodate solution. When you have the rate, you find the corresponding concentration like that, okay? When you have the corresponding concentration, since you use like 10 milliliter here of the iodate solution and you dilute it to 100, so that means that you diluted your sample uh, 10 times. So the concentration you find here, multiply by 10 to get to the original concentration of the unknown solution. And I think this is the last competency for this uh, or purpose for this experiment, yes. Um, and pay attention to the video also. As I perform the experiment, I uh, explain also what is happening. Um, you collect your data, record your observation, take a screenshot when it's asking you to take the screenshot. And then uh, when you have your all your calculation, first you can turn in your, your data sheet. The data sheet is downloadable from the, the, the vital source uh, lab manual uh, website. So when you when you purchase your your um, ebook, there are some attachments that those are uh, word documents. I put the word documents because it's easier to um, it's easier for you to edit. You can use equation editor, and also the other option you have is that I provide you boxes, okay? So if I, if I have a question here and I have a box for you to show the calculation, you can show the calculation right there or show your calculation on a piece of paper, take a picture, insert the image into this box, as long as you insert that right box, then you save your, um, your um, Word document as a PDF and submit PDF. The assignment folder for the online course only accepts uh, PDF because download and grading is easier using the using the PDF. But the, the file that you are getting to start your data um, data sheet is Word document. So editing is much easier, and you are provided with the boxes that you can actually insert pictures. Those pictures are you can be clearly write on piece of paper, take a picture, make sure you show all your steps and insert the picture for your um, calculation as well. Because it gets hard for you to, to show the calculation and use equation editor for every step for this experiment, because it has a lot of um, calculation. Like experiment one, part three to six, we didn't have that many calculations. I didn't mention it. But for this experiment, you, I just want you to know that you have that second option as well. And I hope that helps.